All right, today's topic, which kind of wraps up pressure before we do some practice problems in the next video. Um, this is about manometers and barometers. Now you're like, what is that, right? What the heck is a manometer and what's a barometer? Well, uh, that's what this video is all about. So uh, what we have here is a picture of a manometer. We're going to start with that. Uh, it's also called a U-tube, believe it or not. That's letter U, letter U for the shape of the tube. Um, so you can see here's a U-tube. This is called a manometer. It's used for measuring gas pressure, usually in a closed container. So uh, here's a little digital, or um, sorry, uh, a needle readout of pressure. Um, and then this tube shows the pressure of a gas compared to some other pressure. It's usually atmospheric pressure is the other side. So half of this U-tube is open to the atmosphere and the other half is connected to a gas supply. So the gas supply, the gas, whatever the gas pressure is, puts um, a pressure on this side. This gas is putting a pressure on this liquid and it pushes it down. The atmosphere is also putting a pressure on this liquid and that also pushes down. So you can see the difference between the atmospheric pressure and the pressure of the gas is going to be shown by the difference in the depth of the liquid. All right, so let's get into a little bit more detail with that. Or here's a here's a drawing, a drawing type of a view. Okay, so the gas, there would be some kind of gas tank hooked up over on this side, right? Some kind of gas tank with a valve, and then um, that would be hooked up here to this. So there's a gas tank. Get, Keep in mind, I'm a really bad artist, okay? So, this is a tank here, and there's gas in there, okay? So, the gas then exerts a pressure here on the surface of this liquid, and then that pushes the liquid up into this tube. This is all liquid here, all right? And it goes up to that point there. So, the difference in height between this point here, the depth of that, the, the liquid there, and then here, the difference in that height would be the difference in pressure um, between the reference point here, which is atmosphere. Um, this is atmospheric pressure over here. All right, so the atmosphere pushes down on this side the gas pushes down on this side, so uh, the difference in pressure there is lets you calculate how much pressure the gas has. Pressure of the gas. Okay, so how would we find that difference? Well, we would use our formula for the pressure under a liquid surface, and this would be the depth of that liquid right there. Okay, so if we knew the so remember, pressure is equal to uh, Greek letter rho times G times H. In this case, H is that right there. So um, that's a little confusing. Let me get rid of that. All right. So let me redo that. We're going to, that's our height right there. And then pressure is equal to rho times g times h. Okay, so we'd need to know the density of this liquid. If it's water, the density is just one gram per cubic centimeter. And then you'd multiply that by 10 and then times whatever this difference in depth is, which we call h. And that would give you the difference in pressure between the gas supply and the atmosphere. Right? Cool. That's the basic idea of a manometer. It measures the pressure differential between two gases. All right. And then in a little bit more detail, here is um, perhaps an easier to see example where we've got a U-tube here. Uh, you've got the one pressure there. You've got a different pressure here. The difference in the height 
of the liquid gives you the pressure difference between the two gas pressures there. All right. So the difference, it's all written out here. Difference in height of the fluid between the two sides is used to calculate, and you use this formula right there. All right. Now again, this gives the pressure difference, right? This gives the pressure difference. So then you would need to, whichever side is has more pressure. So in this case, this side is going to have that's, that's labeled as PA, so pressure A is going to equal pressure O plus the result of that. It goes right there. All right, because the pressure acting on this guy, though the pressure of, of this guy is equal to um, the pressure that's acting over here plus the difference between the two of them, which is the liquid there. All right, so now you're, you might be wondering, well, how would we calculate the pressure of the atmosphere? Because the pressure of the atmosphere changes um, depending on the weather and the elevation above sea level and many other factors. So we would need a, a way to measure that. And um, the old-fashioned way of measuring that is called a mercury barometer. All right, so barometer and it is used to measure the pressure of the atmosphere by pushing mercury up into a glass column. All right. As a schematic version, sort of a drawing, it looks something like this. This is the basic idea of what's going on in a mercury barometer. All right. This dish down here, there's a dish with mercury liquid just sitting in it, and it's exposed to the atmosphere. Probably it has a lid, but it's going to have a hole in the lid so that the atmosphere can push on that liquid. Um, so the atmosphere will exert a pressure on that liquid, and it's going to push it up into this glass tube. All right. So up here, there's a vacuum. There's no air up there to provide uh, a pressure against the rising of the fluid, so there's nothing in there. So all of the height of this column is due to the pressure of the atmosphere that pushes on this liquid here. So that pushes it up into the tube. Here's a couple of actual mercury barometers that are pretty old. You can see down here is the, basically in this one, that's the pool of mercury and it gets pushed up into this column. Same kind of thing here, there's a pool of mercury there and it gets pushed up into the column there. So that is what these old time mercury barometers might have looked like. All right. If we had one today, it would look a bit different than this. But that's the basic idea. Um, and we'll look at this in a little bit more detail with one more slide. All right. Again, we have a drawing version. Okay. And you're wondering, how do we use this thing to calculate the pressure of the atmosphere? And the answer to that is that you use the difference in height um, between the top of the liquid mercury in the column and the top of the liquid mercury that's still in the dish. So that's this right here. Let's zoom in on that. Okay, so we've got at the top there is a vacuum. There's no gas in there, so there's no pressure exerted on the top of this column. By the get, There's no gas in there to exert a pressure. So um, the pressure is exerted by the atmosphere here, pushing down on the mercury pool that's in the dish. And that pushes it up into the glass column. The difference between the height of the mercury in the dish and then the height of the mercury in the column, that is what allows us to calculate atmospheric pressure. So we would then calculate that using our uh, formula again, P equals rho times G times H. Now oftentimes there's already going to be a scale attached to the device. In fact, Pretty much always there's a scale here already and it'll be lined up there so you can just read off from the scale what what that height of mercury means so it will be already labeled in units of atmospheric pressure um, and you just have to read the scale and that will tell you cool that's the basics of how to use a barometer and a manometer and we'll do a little bit of practice with those in the next video along with some practice of pressure in general
Cool. Thanks for watching.